Hi there Wanderers fans, welcome to another week of Bay 46. I'm James Trudenik. We're here at Blacktown Leisure Centre and summer is definitely here or in luck because the Wanderers are also here. We're going to go inside in a second. We're checking out the recovery session that the Wanderers are having after their 2-0 win against the Central Coast Mariners on Sunday, which incidentally was our fifth win in the row. How good is that? So we'll head in. Let's check it out. So here we are inside the facility. This is where the Wanderers do their recovery sessions. Involved in those, there's a bit of yoga, a bit of pool work, which is right out in front of me, some physiotherapy, a bit of massage, and the team meeting, which they break down the events of the weekend in preparation for training this week and the game against Brisbane Raw. Just moments ago, I caught up with Scott Jamison, and he discussed the importance of these sessions for the team. Oh, look, it's uh, pretty crucial when um, you know, you're playing in conditions that are pretty tough on the body and, and mentally. So uh, today was just about having a swim, a bit of yoga, and um, just getting a massage, really, and um, you know, just trying to, to get the, the crap out of our bodies and then get going for, for training tomorrow. And following on from the win against Central Coast, as I previously mentioned, it was our fifth win in a row. Let's go back to five weeks ago. We just lost the derby against Sydney. Yep. Things weren't looking so great. Yeah. Obviously, it's been a massive turnaround up to this point. Yep. How's that been felt in camp? How's that changed things? Um, it, lit, it didn't look great from the outside, but I can tell you um, it wasn't nothing like that inside. Um, we, uh, we've said it probably in the media a lot, but we believed in what we've um, you know, worked on in the preseason, and because the results weren't going away, we weren't panicking at all. Um, now, on the flip side, we've had five, five wins in a row and five good wins, but we're not getting carried away. We're a pretty, um, you know, pretty level-headed group, and, and we know that um, as much as it's good to, to win every, or win the last five games, um, you know, we've still got to turn up, uh, work hard during the week, and um, you know, carry out the game plan on the Saturday. Yeah, great. And you're continuing to do that, which is great. Hopefully. One yeah. more thing for you, Matty. Yeah. Let's talk about this. Looked after me there, didn't they? Yeah. I actually put it on Instagram. If uh, you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. At Scott Jamison, I think. So how did this come about? Did you have to pose? Did you have to sit no, still? Or? I, I, I don't have a clue, but all I know is I've never had a cartoon kind of drawing and they made me look um, a solid eight out of 10 there when I'm a solid seven. So yeah, that's uh, pretty good. I'll take that and to whoever who drew it, um, good work. Can you give us a, just a demonstration? Can you see if you can duplicate that for us? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, chiseled. All right. Scott Jamison, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me and uh, thanks very much. Well, that's it for Bay 46 this week. Don't forget, the Wanderers play Brisbane Raw this Saturday, 7.30 kickoff at Wonderland. Incidentally, it's the first of many home games for the Wanderers over the festive season, so we hope to see big numbers over the next couple of weeks. I'm James Trudinic. I'll see you next time.